Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And today we're going over how to do the Sin City effect. See it? Starts out in color and then I just made it go by because I'm amazing like that. Check it out. Now this is what we're learning today, right here. Brandon throws the pick like a bamf. This is from like a music video that we haven't finished yet, but you see how everything else is black and white except for a color that we select, and that is called the Sin City effect. So uh, I'm going to be including all three videos that I'm working on today. Just check the description, and if you guys give me a like for that, it would be great because I spent quite a bit of time getting all this footage ready. So yeah, let's open up After Effects real quick and then we will get started so yeah how's everyone been doing I was gone for like two weeks and I'm sorry guys I've been so busy with school it's insane like so many projects and stuff I've been having to do but I'm back so enjoy it love me share me embrace me <laughs> I'm just kidding that was weird okay so let's drag the footage into here drag and drop into this blank canvas area. I shouldn't have to tell you guys this anymore. So let's start with uh, uh, let's start with Brandon McDoobie. Drag and drop it onto this little icon right here, the create new composition. And it'll just create a new composition just like the button says. Now let's select the footage and uh, go up to effect. Now we're going to go down to color correction. Then we're going to go to leave color. And what this does is, when we select the color that we want to leave behind, check it out guys, nothing happens. Yeah, that's because first, we're going to want to amp up the edge softness a little bit, turn down the tolerance a little bit, then we're going to want to be using hue, not RGB because it colors it a lot better this way. Then drag the amount to decolor up all the way, and now you're seeing some action. Okay, so check it out. So when it was at 15, you see it works, but this one isn't the best example because we have a really good camera and stuff, but it's not getting all of the all of the shirt and stuff. So you drag this down and then you bring up the edge softness just to bring back some of the coloring and make it a little less harsh, and it turns out really good. So that's pretty much the tutorial. So if you guys want to stop there, that's cool. But I'm going to show you guys a few more examples because uh, I am just just want to prepare you guys for the worst in this effect. So next, let's drag and drop Brand, uh, Brand McSwole. I can't talk sometimes, guys. When I'm all nervous and I'm kind of sick, I, I, I've been sick like for five weeks. It sucks having allergies. So, Brand McSwole. <laughs> We're going to do the same thing. Effect color correction leave color I want to drill this in your minds I want to drill it because that's what every good teacher does they drill you oh wait that sounded bad <laughs> uh, me and my corny jokes whatever okay I'm just doing this I already told you guys what to do so just practice it look at that look how good that looks it's just it stays perfect and it's so easy and fast and when you get good like I am you can just go through it so quick and produce professional effects now this last one is where it gets kinda tough so if you're a noob get out of here <laughs> I'm just kidding you could stay so let's drag and drop it into this uh, new composition again and this footage is some leftover footage from my last tutorial from like ages ago replacing the sky I, I replaced the sky in this shot it was really shaky so it didn't turn out too good the the actual footage you guys can look through it if you want but I don't want to make this tutorial 20 minutes so keeping it down so let's do the same thing again I replaced this guy I tracked it and I smoothed it out because it was really bumpy so the footage isn't the best but who cares right so let's select leave color then let's select my red shirt and now here's where some problems happen guys when I just I'm just gonna do this real quick okay so here's what happens usually when you have it up here 
because uh, check it out basically if you have the edge softness at zero it just leaves my lips red and it looks like I'm wearing lipstick and it's not even getting the whole entire thing like you could still see some of my skin because my skin's really close to this color uh, the salmon color which is kinda weird but and you're also getting a bunch of houses when well, I'll show you in a second but so this isn't very good so that's that, that's really when you want to use edge softness bring back some of the color in the skin and uh, bring down some of the tolerance you know just mess with the settings until you get your desired effect but if you look over here if I have this up when I'm trying to get you know more skin in or something you also get some of the houses you see that and that's when you want to create a mask so let's with the uh, Eli McSwag selected hit control D or command D on a Mac then I'm gonna go up to the pen tool to create a mask and with the top layer selected let's just name this hit enter with it selected and hit mask yes cuz we uh, like to keep it legit then we're just gonna draw a really crappy mask Let me go up above okay it does not have to be perfect guys seriously so now we're gonna come here and what you're gonna notice is you see that it's just that little thing like in the mask now we're gonna select Eli McSwag we're gonna go up to effect and we're gonna go to color correction and we're gonna go to black and white and what that does is it just makes that black and white you see the house turns it black and white same with everything that's not in that mask and it's the same exact footage so it's not gonna look all weird but we're still going to go to mask we're going to go here and we're going to put up the feather quite a bit probably like 80 pixels then we're going to expand it to just so it sends it out a little bit so it doesn't get on the skin so everything stays colorized in here like we want now here's where it gets interesting we have to keyframe the mask and do some rotoscoping and I've taught you guys how to do this in like three other videos so I don't know if I have to do it you know I'll just put a link to it because I don't want to have to go and do it again cuz ah no I'm not doing it <laughs> you can't make me I'm just ah I feel bad though I don't know okay so after much self battling I've decided I'm gonna show you how to do it for the fifth time in my tutorials because I'm such a nice guy okay so <laughs> we're gonna go over to the ma mask path then we're gonna go to the very front make sure you're at the very front when you hit that then we're just gonna scroll through and you see how it starts going off we're gonna have the mask path selected so then it selects all the keys in here and then we're just gonna move it over see that and then it automatically gets pushed over because of the keyframe so then we're gonna keep going I mean, it's so easy it's just tedious rotoscoping is so tedious but y you know what it helps the end product so suck it up you baby <laughs> All right. Oh man, <clears throat> shouldn't I have ate those uh, those mixed nuts? They're called. I know it sounds gay, but they're really good for you and stuff. And I'm trying to be healthy, so uh, yeah. See, look at me. I'm so good. I can multitask. I could talk to you guys while I rotoscope. How was your day? Mine was good. Uh, thanks for asking, guys. You guys are so nice. Blah 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 let's see it's almost done and boom check it out now it sticks with the footage the entire time see how nice that is that is keyframing for you so with that all the, all that's left is going to new and we'll just create a new adjustment layer real quick and we'll just uh, call it CC okay with it selected we're gonna go over here let's go to uh, misfire you guys know my you guys know my drill already you already know how I do okay that makes it look so much better already so then we're gonna drag some mojo on there and here's where you can get some really interesting effects now already you're getting you know the black and white but it's not completely black and white it looks really cool but if we just mess with this a little bit let's bring the tint over to the left and then the balance down we'll get a nice book of Eli look we'll bleach it a little bit maybe drag that down and punch it like crazy Punching it is like the contrasting. Now look at that. That looks just like the Book of Eli. The Book of Eli. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting, guys. Like you can just mess with it. 
So with that, I mean, I if this was me, I wouldn't put these effects on it just because, uh, you know, it's the Sin City effect, really. It's not the Book of Eli effect. I'll do a tutorial on that later, maybe. I don't know. I'm just rambling on. <laughs> I uh, guess that's the tutorial, guys. I hope you guys learned something. It's a super easy effect. I tried to make it a little more interesting and go deeper into it. I'm providing all this footage for you. Go ahead, download it. Have fun. If you guys can see the face right here, type in the comments. I see the face. And, uh, yeah, like, everyone in my family saw it. It's kind of weird. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for all the support. We love you guys. I love you guys. We don't love guys. We love you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, we will see you guys next Friday. And Brandon will actually talk to you guys next Tuesday. But, uh, yeah. I guess I will see you guys next Friday. See you guys later. Peace.